right, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel, Living Up Kunle. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your alert because this channel is gonna be filled with great content. Yes, I said so. It's gonna happen, okay? So today we are going to be going through the process of me preparing my tilapia fish. Woo! Huge, right? Yes, it's big. And I like it this big. So Fala loves eating tilapia fish. So today I will be showing you guys how I prepare my tilapia fish, which I tend to prepare a lot. Like I prepare this like twice, two to three times a month. So I will be showing you guys the preparation stage. And then later this evening, my friend Elizabeth is going to join me as we're going to also vlog day nights today. Okay. And then we're going to continue the preparation of the fish and you get to see us enjoy it and what we eat it with how we garnish it up a little bit okay so um if you if you want to see how i prepare this and see the ending of it and how it looks and have your throat salivate a little bit while watching this video keep watching okay if you're new to my channel please subscribe turn on your alerts if you're returning thank you for coming back i appreciate your loyalty Stay loyal, okay? All right, I'll be back and um, enjoy, okay? Enjoy. These are my ingredients I usually put together. I blend together in my blender, okay? So I've got my little accents. I've got this seasoning ooh, ooh. i tend to mix a lot of seasoning together it gives it that rich taste but just a little bit of each of them got my green onions my regular red onions some habanero pepe i've got two cube we call this magi in Niger from my country nigeria okay i've got a cameroonian pepper and another of just um some dried red pepper and this is some suya sauce so your pepper i'll call it so just blend it up together in little quantities. It gives it some nice, rich flavor, okay? Here are my fishes. As you can see they're washed and clean. And I have cuts in between the body of it. And that is just for the seasoning to go in there. So when I stuff the seasonings into it, the seasoning mixture, it's gonna penetrate inside. And when it marinates, it's just gonna have all that full-blown flavor inside. Okay, because after I finish blending my ingredients together, I'm going to um, stuff it inside the fish and then put it in a Ziploc bag and just let it marinate for a few hours until we are ready to prepare it. Usually, I like to marinate my fish overnight, but because I didn't throw it out on time from the freezer, um, it's just thawed out overnight, so I have to marinate it soon now and, you know, have it ready for later this evening when I'll be cooking it. Now I am going to be blending my ingredients together. So my green onions, my habanero pepper, my regular red onions. I like blending my cubes inside because sometimes those cubes are like hard to, you know, crush with your fingers. So it's just easier to just put it all in there. Okay, I'm just going to put a few acids. So as a Nigerian cook, we don't really use measuring spoons and cups to measure stuff. We eyeball it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Eyeballing. I said just a little bit of each ingredient, not a lot. Just a little bit for, it to, for you to take that flavor, but not over quench the um, fish with seasonings. So I blend it all together. Just a little bit. And as you can see, there is no salt in here because I feel like all this ingredient combined together can give itself that salty flavor. And you know, I'm not trying to get hypertension from eating too much salt because as a black girl, as a black woman, as a black human, with more protein hypertension. Okay, I'm going to be using the extra virgin oil. Just put a lot in there because that oil is what helps also with the seasoning marinates together inside the fish. Like I said, I've got a little of my um, a little of my suya powder, a little of my Cameroonian powder and a little of my regular red um, blender. Okay. I'm gonna blend this together. So I am going to start stuffing the sauce into the fish. 
And also, I forgot to show you guys earlier, I also cut in between, you know, the fish as well. And that's to get the ingredients more inside so every it can marinate it perfectly for you to taste that juiciness, okay? All right. So I spray all over the fish. Just try to massage it with a spoon. Get in between as well. Those holes, um, the lines, the cut I've made. Get in, pour some into the fish as well. Inside. I also marinate the head as well. Paula likes to eat all the bones and suck the life out of it. So, we want to give him some flavor to taste. Okay, so as you can see, it's well juicy. And then I put it to the people's back. And I do the same to all the fish. And then, like I said, let it stay in the fridge for a few hours. Overnight it's better, but I didn't get a chance to do it last night, so a few hours can also do the trick, which I have done several times, just thinking, oh crap, I gotta cook this, I wanna cook this, and I don't have time, but it still gets done. Fala still loves it, it still tastes delish, okay? Hi, welcome back. Right now it's about what, 5.30 p.m.? Yes, it's 5.30 p.m. We have officially started date night. As you can see, I changed my outfit. I need to look like I'm really out on a date. <laughs> Our Bring host, dates. host with the most is okay? She is. So this is my friend Liz. We're going to go ahead and start baking the fish. And then I will show you, we'll show you guys how we're gonna eat the fish together while we're eating it with and dinner and the rest of our night. Okay? Guys, I'm so excited to learn how to make this fish. Faith always tells me when she's making it. She's like, come over so you can try it. I'm like, okay, one day, one day. So tonight, I was like, can you make your fish? And she said yes, so I'm so excited to learn how to make it myself. So I have gone ahead to bring out the fish from the fridge and I placed them into a foil into my pan and I just grease the foil so it doesn't stick to it. So I have my extra sauce here. I'm just gonna go ahead and place some more inside the fish and on top of the fish just so it could get some more juice before I put it in the oven. Prior to putting it in the oven, I'm going to turn on my oven to a three. I'm going to put it on bake, 350. So let that preheat and then put it in the oven. So I'm going to put it, it's going to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Now I'm just going to bring it out and flip it to the other side, which can be hard to flip when the fish gets really soft. Yeah. Just got to be extra careful. Okay, here we go. Flip. So after flipping the fish on the other side, I'm going to be adding the leftover sauce that we have left on, on top of the fish. And after doing that, I'm going to put the fish back in the oven to bake for an, an additional 30 minutes. So while the fish is in the oven baking up, I slice my, um, my bell peppers and the onions as well, which is going to be added for more flavor. The last 30 minutes bake time is over, so I'm going to bring out the fish and it's going to be time to add our vegetables which makes it look pretty hello guys sorry to interrupt but if you like what you see so far you should consider subscribing to my channel it is free and it is so much fun feel free to thumbs up share and comment be interactive join the family and you won't miss out of any of our videos thank you so now I'm going to turn the oven to broil 
on low heat and it's important to start with low heat so you don't fry out the fish from the outside you want it in out and i'm going to be flipping the fish flipping each of them and look at the scale you want to be very careful so you don't break the fish it really takes it took me a while for me to gain the skill but it is so cute when i do it Ooh, look at that i look like a pro <laughs> So right now I am going to be adding the bell peppers and onions onto the fish. Like I love doing this part because it seems like I'm just decorating my fish. That is all going to go on my stomach. But it looks pretty when I'm doing it. Especially with the way I'm putting all the color in first. You know, or in order, which really doesn't have to be. But after putting all the onions and the bell peppers i guess the vegetables on the fish i'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven now it's going to broil for about 10 to 15 minutes you see the fish out from the oven i just took away you know separated the vegetables away from the fish so this is like my own side thing that i do and i alternate sometimes i do this put this extra so you just powder on top of the fish and sometimes i don't based on based on what taste i'm going for so what I, is it this is just a soya powder okay remember earlier i marinated it um i blended it together with the sauce mm -hmm. to make the sauce to use to marinate the fish okay so just a little bit and where can we find the soya powder in your local african grocery store okay And like I said, it's, you know, it's your choice to add it or not add it at the end. I like anything suya. So if I'm going to taste suya fish, I want suya fish. And that's why I'm adding it. That girl was hungry. <laughs> Alrighty. And I'll put it back in the oven to broil for 10 minutes on high this time. And that will be the last cook time we're going to have. Just preparing our side and this is just fried plantain okay ready yeah who's ready to eat though me i'm ready to eat though yum yeah. all right so this is how we make this is how i make my tilapia fish oh let me get y'all a closer look it is nice ooh, ooh. Oh, yum. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and serve it, and you're going to see what it looks like with the food. All right, Chef Faith. Olawa Shibi A. <laughs> this looks so good. So, Lazy's going to be giving a review soon. All right. How to eat your tilapia fish. So my guests are drinking champagne, but as a nursing mom, I gotta drink my malt. Got this face in it. Y'all, this fish. My girl can start a business off this. this oh, good. Okay. She said, this is oh. good. <laughs> How are you liking it, Chester? Fish is amazing. Fish, salad, plantains, all of it. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, comment, share, and I appreciate your support. Thanks.